Yeah! You're my hero, man. Dude, keep going! I love you, sir. Alright, yeah. go, go, go! Love you! Ciao, ciao! Get, we're getting ready now. No longer getting ready to get ready. Now we're getting ready, everybody. Good morning, DGR. Here we go. Oh, man. Oh, it's early. It's about 3.50. Oh, let's go. Like I mentioned yesterday or the day before, with Kate here, that's our phase one. You know, the summer is, is safe now, everyone's happy, everyone's sleeping. Now Papa can go to work. You know what I mean? I don't know, that's just my mental uh, state of being right now. It's like, all right, everyone's home, everyone's secure, time to go rock and roll. Now you may have noticed that I did not grab for the Solomon Ultra Glide, the Hulka Speed Goat 5, uh, what else is out there right now? The Saucony Endorphin Edge. Very easily could have grabbed for those shoes, don't get me wrong. I went for the New Balance Fresh Foam More Trail, everybody. Very interesting. 20, okay, today it's going to be at least 26.2, but more likely 27 to 28-ish is my guess, uh, just based on how I do the mountain, all right? And yes, we are going up the one and only Pikes Peak course, you better believe it. Uh, maybe along the way I'll give some hints and tricks if you're interested in learning how I race, you know, how, yeah, how I race Pikes Peak the last... Well, really the last decade, but especially the last couple of years, I can give some tips on, um, yeah, just strategies on getting up and down the mountain as fast and safe as possible. So anyway, everybody, I went with Fresh Foam More. Little cush, little goodness, little bounce. It's a good shoe, I'm telling you. Um, if, I, if I remember, I'll try to link to the full review down below in the description. Here we go. Let's just say we got some good sleep deprivation training going on right about now. First two nights home, uh, baby Kate, she's got some lungs, everybody. <laughs> she's got strong lungs. I don't know where she gets them, but she's got some good. She let us know a couple times, well, <laughs> a couple times, a handful of times that uh, she, is, she is not afraid to let the world know she is here to stay. Okay, here we go. It's about 5.25 a.m. Pike's Peak for breakfast? Yes, yes indeed.
Eyes up, bump arms, quick feet. That's my number one tip. Eyes up, eyes up. It's so easy to look down, down, down. You know, obviously you have to make sure you don't roll an ankle. Look out for rocks. But if you look down, you're collapsing your breathing cavity, your, your whole upper torso, you're, it's collapsing in on itself. And that inhibits the breathing, which becomes very important on top of the mountain. So, eyes up, just try and keep them up. But it's like dual vision. You're looking up, but you're also looking down at the same time, okay? You're just glancing, glancing, glancing. See that glance? Rewind about seven seconds and you'll see just baby glances, baby glances. Because when you're looking up, you have a goal to shoot for, all right? You look up, you've got a good goal. It's like the next switchback. I see it, I see it, I see it. I'm fighting for it. I'm going for it. That's probably my number one tip right there. Eyes up. Glance, glance. At mile five, 9,200 feet above sea level, it's time to roll. This is exactly where the, the course flattens out a little bit for about, eh, about two miles. It's, you're still climbing, but this is where you can really start to run. All right, so take note about mile five, 9,200 feet. Let's roll. Coming up on the halfway point, if you can visualize this rock outcropping right here, and then you turn a corner and you can see the top, this is halfway. All right, I, li I love knowing a halfway point. So it's this rock outcropping, it's, it's pretty pronounced. And then you just turn and boom, there's the top. Now halfway mileage, not halfway vertical we still got the vert here we go This is it, the last climb, the 16 golden stairs. Basically just 16 sharp, steep switchbacks. You got less than half mile to go, everybody. This is where we dig deep. Come on, dig deep. You don't give up here, all right? Yeah, keep pumping those arms. Dig, dig, dig. Believe in yourself that you can accomplish this goal. I know, it's kind of crazy running up a 14,000 foot mountain. A lot of people think they can never do it. 
but you can. I know you can. 16 golden stairs. This is it. Dig, dig, dig. Come on. Come on. Come on. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Let's go, let's go, let's go. DGR strong. Up, up, up. Quick feet. Light on your feet, quick feet. You did it. You did it, everybody. 13.1 miles with over 7,000. I think it's about 7,200 feet of vertical feet. That is what I'm talking about. Hold on. My emerge. Hold on. My watch is freaking out. Um, so, last tip. This is my first trip up Pikes Peak in 2022. I planned the plan, the game plan is five trips up this summer before the race sorry it's so windy but my recommendation is this three trips where you get above tree line basically 11,500 feet okay if you can get above that that elevation three times in your training block leading into the pikes peak marathon pikes peak ascent that's going to help you so so much but 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 listen to me here you don't even have to get to 14,000. you might not have time for that or you might live out of state like my good buddy tyler down in florida you got this seth Florida is flat as a pancake. What does he do for training for Pikes Peak? Up and over overpasses that go over a highway or an interstate. You know, it's just that quick back and forth, back and forth, probably like 400 meters and with about maybe 75 to 100 feet of vertical gain and loss. In his training last year for Pikes Peak, he, I believe it was either 3,000 or 5,000 feet of vertical gain in one run going back and forth over a uh, over a highway on an overpass another option with permission go find yourself a parking garage or a park and just do laps in the parking garage in the park just find any hill that you can it's going to help you so so much that's my last tip three times above 11,500 feet that helps so much all right i got to get off this mountain we're not done working today. What I'm about to show you at the track is something that I did not do in 2021. This is my change up, my curveball in my training for 2022 Pikes Peak. Oh man, let's do this. All right, I'm on my way down. You tell the story. I just met who? This is Seth. Another Seth. And I met you on Grays and Tories. In September, I live in Colorado Springs here. This guy inspired me to do the Pikes Peak Marathon. And I'm going to get to the top here in five hours. I'm going to do it. This, right. It's today. Dude, you rock, man. It's today. It's going Dude, down. That's what I'm talking about. And he said on the on Grays and Tories, you said, I'm going to give you an update. And this is the this is the update. We got a live update. We got a live update. <laughs> Dude, congrats. Yeah, You're going to crush it. Yeah. Congrats. And uh, are you going back down? My parents are at the top. Okay. I need to bail. Yeah. I'm feeling great. It's going to happen. Oh, my goodness. And I got, you know, six hours to get to the bottom from now. So as long as it doesn't start hailing at the top, it's going to happen. Dude, email me how you do. All right. It's Seth at DemoreGlobalRunning.com. All right. Yeah. You're my hero, man. Dude, keep going. I love you so All right. Go, go, go. Love you. Ciao, ciao. Oh, my goodness. That's amazing. I wasn't planning to bring the camera back out, but Seth, oh man, another Seth. Okay. What a gift to meet Seth up on the mountain. I hope that story made sense with him. Just pretty amazing, actually, that we were able to cross paths again as he's uh, chasing down his dreams, getting up and down Pikes Peak. Seth, I hope you made it up and down today. Unbelievable. Okay, on the way, about 30 meters away from him, 
he was yelling Seth. And I was like, uh, I was like, uh, hi, hi, what's going on? And he's like, no, 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 Seth, I'm Seth too. Meaning, so we're both, anyway, so all the Seths out there, shout out. Um, oh yeah, comment of the day, question of the day. You're seeing my post run work here on the track, on the screen right now, just getting it in, doing the little things, okay? Trying to stay limber, trying to keep these billy goat legs moving forward up and down the mountain. So uh, in case you missed the vlogs from last week, I showed a couple different routines for legs, for core. That's what you're seeing on your screen right now. Jano Ceruto, you get the comment of the day. You made me laugh with this. Uh, he quoted True Love and it simply says, no, I want tacos. And then he goes on to say, what an idol, meaning talking about true love. Yes, we got tacos right after the hospital yesterday. Oh, that was amazing. So onward and upward, uh, question of the day. What, I'm often talking about the challenges of life because it can be challenging, but I wanna talk about the joys too. What right now today is bringing you joy today? Maybe it's already happened. Maybe you need to live your day today and then come back and comment on this vlog. What is bringing you joy today? That is the question of the day. Come on, DGR. Onward and upward. There you have it. Keep turning. Whoo! I'm ready for. I'm ready for. Uh, I'm ready to sit down. Is what I'm ready. First, we got to do the work. All right, we'll toss it to. Um, We'll toss it to maybe last week's workout with the legs, okay? Last week's workout with the legs, which I'm gonna do right now, right now. All right, see beauty, work hard, and love each other. See you tomorrow.